Now loudspeakers uh, is operate under this uh, same concept, okay, but not not a moving coil, not a current carrying coil, okay. Uh, not really a current carrying coil, but this one is a current carrying conductor in magnetic field. Now let's see how it operates. Huh? For uh, loudspeakers, there are two magnets. Huh? One at the side. There's a magnet here. Uh, this is a magnet. Huh? Okay. There's a, at the side. There's a magnet, and at the center here, there's also an, another magnet. So uh, at the side, if this is a north pole, and then the center will be the south pole. So there is a magnetic field. Eh? There's a magnetic field between these two magnets. So there's a magnet. And then uh, there's a coil here. This is a current carrying coil, okay? So when current flow inside. Now we learned that uh, there's a paper cone here, okay? There's a paper cone here. Now when current flow inside, okay? When there's a current flow, let's say the current flow, uh, flow up. Eh? Let's say the current flow up. The current flow up. Then it will produce a force, eh? You produce a force uh, that uh, to move to move uh, the paper cone. Okay, so it will let's say it move to the uh, right. But if the current flow backward, then it will move to the left. Uh, the directions of the force uh, depends on the directions of the currents. So if the currents move go up and down, uh, then this thing it will vibrate. Okay, if the current keep on changing up down up down up down, so this thing it will vibrate. Eh? And it vibrate, then it will uh, produce sound. It vibrates, it will move the paper cones, cones and this paper cone will force the air around it to vibrate at the same frequency, then it will produce sound. Uh, so the loudspeaker contains a cylindrical coil, okay? So there is a cylindrical coil here, which is free to move in a radial uh, magnetic field. Uh, I, I will explain to you what, what is this uh, radial uh, magnetic field. So this uh, coil inside this uh, magnetic field by these two magnets. Uh, yeah, two permanent magnet. So the magnet has a central south pole, okay? So inside the central is a south pole and a surrounding north pole, okay? So this surrounding is north pole. The few lines are therefore uh, radial and at right angles to the turns of the coil. So if the field, uh, if you have a north pole here and you have a south pole, so this is linear. This field is a linear field, a straight line. So it's a linear field, okay? But if you have a uh, south pole at the centers and north, north pole at the side, north pole at the side. So then the field, eh, the field all points to the center. The field all move to the center. Uh, then this is called a radial field. Okay, so this is a linear. Uh, so this uh, this this pairs of magnet uh, will produce this uh, radial field at right angles. Uh. So when the varying varying means the changing, okay? changing currents. That uh, means it's alternating currents, uh, alternating currents. Uh, the current is produced by a microphone. Usually, it's by a microphone, and it's uh, this uh, alternating current. So the current will move uh, uh, to and fro. Okay, up down, up down, up down. Okay. So when this uh, varying current flows through the coils. So a force of a varying magnitude will act on the coil. So when the current flow, then it will produce a force, right? The force, uh, the force uh, will move left, right, left, right. Because the current move up, down, up, down, then the force will move left, right, left, right. So this cause the coil to move to and fro according to the magnitude of the force. And uh, then will cause the paper cones to vibrate. Eh? And when the paper cone vibrates, then it will produce sound wave. So that is uh, how a loudspeakers produce sound wave. So you need to know how it functions uh, because this may be asked in uh, essay questions. Uh.